to plump your butt, hey, I won't judge you. <laughs> but just make sure that you find a reputable surgeon. We're here with Dr. Renato Saltz. You're a Utah board certified plastic surgeon, but also the International Society of, of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons. You're the president. Now this is in addition to your regular practice. This is a real issue. Um, and uh, not only the International Society, but the two American societies for plastic surgery decided to get together, establish a task force, which I am one of the co-chairs, and to look at this because, very unfortunately, a totally elective procedure is, uh, is killing people. So we're talking about the Brazilian buttock lift procedure that can come with some major problems when it's not done right. And is this a popular practice in Utah, a, pro a popular procedure in Utah? It's a very popular procedure. Um, of course, uh, we see more procedures in California and South Florida, but yeah, we do, uh, we do a fair amount of uh, butt lifts and fat injection to the buttocks here in, in, in Utah. Well, they're popular with celebrities, and uh, we haven't seen anything crazy here in Utah, but in Florida we're seeing some headlines. What's the worst that can happen if you botch a, a Brazilian butt lift? Young women in Florida last year and this year, they, they die. They die from fat embolism. That's when the fat is injected too deep, it goes into the gluteal veins and then it goes to the heart. And these patients, they, they die. They die on the table, they die immediately after surgery. So why do you think that people end up in these offices where the expertise isn't very high? Is it, it cheaper? Do it, they think that it's an innocuous surgery? What, what do you think it is? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, it's cheaper. Uh, there's a lot of marketing involved. Some of these patients don't do their homework. They don't they don't uh, study who's going to do my surgery, where is the surgical facility, is this a, an accredited facility, who's going to do my anesthesia. So we urge uh, patients that are, are seeking for buttock augmentation to look for board certified plastic surgeons and, and do your homework. Find out where this is being done and what, what, what is that surgeon's experience in doing it. Yeah, that's great advice. And also, don't be afraid to pay a little more. If you see the cheaper, it might not always be the best. Exactly. So, so you are. You talked about the task force a little bit earlier. It's that big of a problem that there's a whole task force. Um, is that is that with the International Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons who are researching the deaths? Well, uh, it's such an important issue. Uh, we estimate it's about one death for three thousand procedures done. Wow. So it immediately became the highest morbidity, highest mortality in aesthetic surgery. Wow. And if you think about aesthetic surgery, these are, you know, procedures is different than cancer, is different than trauma. Is it, you know, you, you shouldn't die. You shouldn't have a, a huge complication like that. So the American societies and the international society got together, put a very good group together to study this. We have been to Florida. We have review the autopsies uh, uh, in Florida. We are now doing several studies trying to define exactly what is safe. Mm. And we know a few things. For example, we know fat should not be injected deep. Mm. You have to stay superficially. We know fat should not be injected from the bottom. It has to be injected from the top. We know we shouldn't use flexible cannulas. We should use rigid cannulas for the injection. Uh, to avoid fat going too deep and then getting to the gluteal veins and, and causing the problem. So we are, wow. we're making progress on that. That's amazing. So people can go to a, a resource that maybe you have, or would you recommend a resource for finding a good plastic surgeon? I think you should go to the society resources um, and the Aesthetic Society or the American Society for Plastic Surgery. Go through the international. These are all websites that are easily available e and find find somebody that has done the procedure multiple times find somebody that is board certified and then especially do your homework that's what we ask the uh, the patients to do yeah, that is such good advice if you want to look great if you want to lift the butt or whatever <laughs> just make sure that you do your homework thank you so much and you can find dr saltz at saltzplasticsurgery.com thanks so much for thank you so us. much thank you for having me <laughs>